If you're a motorcycle rider involved in an accident with a car, it can be catastrophic. And often, claiming compensation is the only way to get your life back on track. Which is why I want to simply explain motorcycle accident compensation and hopefully help you determine whether you have an eligible claim. Whether you enjoy riding a Harley, a performance bike or a moped, there are approximately 850,000 registered motorcycle riders across Australia. Unfortunately, the nature and lack of physical protection when riding a motorcycle leaves you particularly vulnerable to serious injury. And it's for this reason that all registered riders need to know about motorcycle injury claims and what you could be entitled to. If you're injured in an accident with another vehicle in New South Wales, any claim you make will be against the at-fault driver's seat to be insurer. You do this by lodging an application for personal injury benefits. This will cover you for lost wages and medical expenses for a maximum of six months. But strictly following this process on your own could see you miss out on a significant lump sum payout you could be entitled to. If you're seriously injured, and by seriously injured I mean you unfortunately sustain broken bones, injuries that require surgery, or serious psychological conditions like PTSD, then you might be entitled to make a lump sum claim for past and future economic loss and pain and suffering. But this will need to be submitted separately to your application for personal injury benefits and can be extremely complicated, which is why it's best to seek the advice of an experienced motorcycle accident lawyer. What many don't realize is you might be able to get a motorcycle accident lawyer to help you with your claim for free. Firstly, under the New South Wales CTP statutory benefit scheme, fees are regulated by the government to be paid by the insurer. So if you have a dispute with your insurer regarding your weekly payments, you can hire a lawyer to help you for free. Most client first firms, like us here at Law Partners, pay for essential evidence such as medical reports up front and then seek reimbursement from the insurer, meaning you'll never be out of pocket. Finally, the regulation ensures that if your claim results in a lump sum payout of $75,000 or less, that the insurer will pay all the legal fees, meaning you won't pay a cent. However, if your payout is greater than $75,000, then you might be required to pay legal fees. But the first $75,000 is still protected and fee free. So you'll only be required to pay fees on the sum greater than $75,000. We recently represented a client who was out riding his Harley, stopped at a set of lights when he was hit from behind by an SUV. He sustained a severely broken wrist and significant back and shoulder injuries. As a result of these injuries, he was unlikely to be able to return to his work as a labourer. When he came to us, he was uncertain about his future and how he could provide for his family. But we were able to ease those concerns by looking after his claim and obtaining a significant lump sum payout that gave him the financial security and confidence he needed to look after his family and move on from the accident. Hopefully, this has been helpful to you. But if you're still unsure about motorcycle accident compensation or need help with your claim, Call Law Partners and have a confidential conversation with one of our specialist CTB lawyers today.